Last time on Catherine Full Body. Have you ever been talking to someone and your eyes just space out to both sides of the room? Happens to me all the time. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Catherine Full Body. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode. I honestly had quite a bit of fun with it. I'm not even gonna kid or lie, I don't know why I would, but I had a lot of fun with it. The puzzles, the storytelling, uh, the cinematics, and the music have been really good so far. A lot of people have suggested this game to me in the past, and I'm really glad I took up on that suggestion. But a few things before we get into this puzzle. First of all, I think I might have screwed myself over on picking remix mode a little bit. Ugh, a little bit. In the original game, where a lot of these situations were build a staircase. Now that some of these blocks are whole, the puzzles are a lot harder than I remember. Um, granted, they're not undoable, but still. You know, I, I guess I'm up for the challenge anyways. I'm just not very good with timed puzzles, and it seems like a lot of people in the comment section agree with me. That it's like, yeah, I love puzzles, but timed ones are just, ugh. <laughs> I know. Another thing is, um, someone in the comment section informed me, actually, that apparently Atlas had, like, a game show or whatever, like, a week ago or something. Or a few days ago, even. And they were get- they like, oh, we have some big special announcement, and then it wound up just being Catherine. And, or I think Catherine for the Switch, and people were kind of disappointed. I'm- I'm just gonna say now, um, this is not towards the people in the comment section. The person who brought this- this up in the comment section is fine, and everyone in that entire thread is fine. But please do not personally, like, contact me on any form of social media asking me to stop an LP because you want to be a man-child about a game getting released. Honestly, half the people probably watching that were hoping for Persona 6 because for some reason they think Persona games are crafted in short amount of time. And I have been waiting for SMT5, also known as Shin Megami Tensei 5, since the Switch launched, and it's been three years and I have not heard a single piece of news. Am I sitting here acting like a baby and throwing a fit about every game Atlas releases? No. Um, so I'm just saying, I, I did not have just one, but two people contact me being like, Hey, maybe you shouldn't play this game for various reasons. And this is the only LP I've ever had that happen. So, uh, I guess in short, I do what I want. Also, lastly, what was I going to say? Lastly, <laughs> some of the questions in this game are actually really interesting. Like, it asked that one last time, what do you think is most important in a relationship? I would actually love to hear your comments down below responding to this. Um, I actually asked the question on Twitter, and I got a ton of responses, so I would love to read uh, your answers in the comment section below to some of the questions being asked, because I think it's really interesting reading through what you guys think about, like, relationships and all that, and how much it varies from person to person. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna slap my head against this puzzle for a few hours, so let's do it. Are you getting the hang of this? How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? <laughs> Are you getting used to being in a dream with your life at peril at all times, only equipped with your underwear and a pillow? Uh, no. Hey, don't run off ahead, help me! Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time, but each one has a very useful purpose. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. Oh yeah, someone also mentioned that this game has a lot of Persona's voice actors, and yeah, Atlas tends to use the same group of voice actors over and over a lot, which isn't a bad thing. But it's just, you'll notice their voices. You use a white block, a 3x3 platform will appear. <laughs> Alright, now we're back up where we were. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. What the hell is right. this place? How high does this damn thing go? <laughs> Vincent, look know. on the map. I wish I did. Literally have a meter on the left that shows you how high it goes. Don't be such a coward, baby, Vincent. Use this. That did not work how I thought it would. Shit. Oh, that was an accident. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Man, there's so many of these little block things to help you like solve problems. You know. That is not what I should have done. Uh. So what happens if I throw it this way? I see. 
Probably should have thrown it over here, though, in hindsight. Oh, well. You can't find a way forward. I don't know if the score, like, getting a low score actually affects anything or not. But I'm certainly not getting a high one. This is my goal here is just to solve the... Oh, I can't go over it? I have to go around? Okay, well that's a lesson for the future. I thought maybe I could step on the platform and get to other stuff on the left side, but I guess if you step on it, it's just you automatically have to go. Here I go. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I didn't do very good. I'm not gonna get very good scores on any of these, I guarantee you guys. you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep? They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful. Something now. big? Something big. Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. <sighs> hey, wait! So if these are all people, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, like, match up these clothes with people I see, like, IRL. Because maybe we know some of them, you know? At the landing, you can learn tips on how to climb. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. Okay, the guy's actually talking. My bad. So, you guys also told me I should be talking to everyone around this area, because they'll give me lots of useful information. What the hell is with this dude? Seen them lying around while you're climbing? I'll yeah. Useful items for them. Oh. Would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. I've got a plaque with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Oh, so you don't know. If you are still having trouble getting through a stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. I see. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. If you want an item, pony up some coins. And so in short, you don't want to... The white cube creates a platform of blocks at your feet. I don't think I need a cube. I'm no, good. I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, Fro-Man? Fro-Man? Uh, Excuse me. Please come again. But yeah, so I guess we use coins on these blocks. I guess there's no permanent upgrades, which I guess is fine because it's a puzzle game. But you know. Hmm? What do you want? No, oh, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure I feel about being encouraged by a sheep, but I guess it's better than being a chef or even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? It's a kitchen band. I said hand, you idiots. Kitchen hand, like a cook. <laughs> Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <sighs> kitchen band. Sorry for shouting, but you need to listen better. No problem, man. I don't know why he got so angry. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. Yes, you can. If an idiot like me can do it, you can too. That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. Man, I never really like this game. Is also categorized as horror, which I guess I never really thought of myself. But like some of the imagery, very reminiscent of some things going on in Silent Hill. Like, God. 
We all look exactly the same. You're just some sheep. I'll show you next time. Wait, I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. News flash. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I survive. Well, fuck you too. That's not right. I mean, like, no I'll do it too. To else, I'm gonna live. I mean, it doesn't really make sense because Vincent literally shoves anyone on his way up off. By the way, look at the way he runs. What is with this? It's a goofy run. How high does this reach? We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow and the day after and. Third time's the charm, right? <sighs> I found this out. Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Uh, teach me something else. Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique. Now. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in play. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist. Huh? Blockologist. Mm, that's he plays song. Minecraft. Try to remember this one too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block. And oh, I see. By creating a stairway as you go down. You will be able to go higher than a lot of these can. tips aren't as useful in the remix mode, I have to say. Like, I won't say they're useless, but there's not a whole, like, lot you can do like that. That's crazy. You knew that? Yeah. I knew. I okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. I'll write down our techniques. Feel free to check them out if you get stuck. Cool. Thanks, man. Out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. He was referring to Vincent. It, it's that sheep again. They gotta play dead. I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. What? Really? I I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. Oh god, that is kind of grim now that I think about it. Like, people are pushing each other off, seeing each other as monsters, but they're not. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. Even this place will fall eventually. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand what this. <laughs> what should I do? Please help me. You just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me anything. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain the tornado. Tornado? If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Oh, I see. I did this earlier. And bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Wow, you're amazing. Oh, I think I can go on a little longer. Okay. Glad I could help. Makes me genuinely happy that, like, Vincent's helping out these dudes, you know? Alright, time for another question. You're here, Lost Lamb. Next question. What do you value? What do I value? measured by a single question not to mention you have more than one path ahead of you <laughs> this is the second question does life begin or end with marriage does life begin or end with marriage um this is a weird question for me because i don't particularly see marriage as anything important but like Realistically, I don't agree with either of these. Like, 
When you get married, it's not like anything changes. You just have a piece of paper under your name and then people let it go to their head. But I wouldn't say life begins because to get married, you have to go through a certain point in life. And I think that's kind of a stupid statement. This is kind of a binary question, which I wish had a middle ground like neither because that's my honest answer. But, uh, I'm gonna say life ends, because, I don't know, I feel like you lose a lot of your free time. You know. You've made your selection. I knew it! This is actually a giant chapel with eight floors. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. I won't be able to guarantee what your future holds. Be careful what you take for granted. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people losing such things. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Something the likes of which this world has never seen. <sighs> I guess there's no point in worrying about the future. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? So, this one was actually a more divisive answer. Uh... So, life begins and life ends. It was almost a split, but not quite. People from their... Oh, really? Interesting, most men actually think life begins. And more women think that their life ends. Huh. That's cool. As I said, I'm very much in the middle ground on that. I think we're getting to the end of like this dream section, I think. You won't escape. Uh, excuse me? What the voice? Where have I? I won't let you escape. Oh god! What the hell is this? Catherine? Oh, it's Catherine. The fists of Grunch have a clue. Right, it's it. the killer. Do not die. Oh shoot, I didn't think that'd fall. Oh my god, the horrifying! Ooh, what did she do? Why did she do that? I hate that. Stop it. Uh oh, I messed up. Um If you can find a way forward, you may wish to undo and try Call me stupid, but I think she just messed up the puzzle in a way I can't solve it. Undo. Undo your move. Oh my god! This is horrifying! I don't like it at all! I want to go back to easy puzzles without getting stabbed! What is this? When you use a bell, all nearby blocks will be converted into normal white blocks. Ooh, okay. This is handy for getting rid of tricky obstacles, such as cracked blocks or immovable blocks. I like it. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's pull out. Shit. I do that all the time. I'll pull one out and I'll be like instantly like, that's not the way I meant to push that. Sorry, honey. Dear, I think you're overreacting. Stop. Oh shit. Right, I got it. 
Oh, wait, hold on. I can still get up. We're, we're good. We're good. This isn't so bad so far. We're like halfway. Um. Shit. Chill woman. Um, maybe if I... Oh, that works. Right, I got it. <laughs> How am I going right, to get to that, it. though? Wait a second. Couldn't I just... It worked! No, that doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, she's getting real close. I don't like that. I don't like it. Me no likey. If you can't find a way for this, you may wish to undo this and try to use them. Oh fuck, I thought I had the white one. Damn it. I think I messed up. I think I've done goofed. She's gonna hit those blocks soon. I thought she was gonna hit the blocks! Um, have I messed up just this entire puzzle? Because I pulled out this one, which made that fall. Which made it easy to get. I need to remember a rule. That's what I'm missing. I need to remember a rule about something. Oh. I refuse. Responsibility is scary. Wrong way. No, 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 Catherine. <laughs> Dear, you're so damn scary. Oh, I'm dead again. Okay, maybe if I... I feel like I'm being really stupid about this. This is really simple and I'm making it difficult. There we go. But how do I... What the fuck? This. There we go. Oh, bye, dear. You're beautiful, just not today. Getting its stabbed with a fork. You have escaped from the I got the bronze prize because I was so good. I'm never getting it. I'm never getting anything above bronze. Think back to long ago, back to a time when you felt happy. Five years ago. Sorry about today. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. That's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. You working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> I see that's what do you back. Think? Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. It's interesting. It's talking about like a stale relationship, you know. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> Saw the, uh, sheep eyes for a second there. Uh. 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 
Uh oh. <laughs> face he's making. Oh no. Yikes. Marriage is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! <laughs> she teleported. work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. Damn, you she's really laying on the moves see. there. I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Ha! You don't say. There's an interesting little detail with the cigarette burning down really quickly. I wonder what that means. If it's just symbolism or if it means something. Holy shit. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what isn't good? Well, uh... You know. Pause. Like, I think it... Like, I don't think it actually means something, but I think it's symbolism that because of... The reason he's having... Well, I guess it doesn't make sense, but like... The reason he's having the dreams, I think, is because he doubts his relationship with Catherine. Um, and then this lady shows up, and she's like, hey, and that kind of shortened it even more, I guess. You know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Mm hmm? Um, is this going to be a problem? So, okay, My I controller just Catherine. vibrated. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. Ha <laughs> Uh... Would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh. We literally just met yesterday. What do you oh. mean? So, how do you feel about me? Huh? You're pretty great, oh. I guess. Wow, um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? Ah! What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Is that a reason to scream? Uh, I guess. Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah. Dentists get angry if you're late, too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait. I what? actually dating someone already. <sighs> this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Oh, man. Like, it's still his fault, totally. At the same time, you can tell it's not something he would do sober. Ah, uh, you know what? It just hit me. 
You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This Wait, hold on! Third. Is that young Sojiro? <laughs> Cause that's what it looks like. Who's that guy though? Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have? I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pick. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? If there's one thing I love about this game's art style, it's you can definitely see the Shin Megami Tensei artists at work here. Because, uh, like, Atlas as a company reuses a lot of their same artists, obviously. But um, they have a few different, like, big art styles. One is the original SMT art style. That it had way in back in the old days, which character designs were weird looking. Like they have a very distinct design uh, that you can tell. And then this is closer more to like the uh, persona designs, you know. But I can still see it in the art. Listen, man. Don't you ever just want to go to Kappa Heaven? Huh? I never saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Yeah, totally. What are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop. Those two. About cheating. Wait, hold on. Pause. I know this is an important scene, but those two old ladies in the background multiplied. Is there going to be more old ladies every chapter? Is like every chapter there's going to be another old lady, and then by the end of the game, the whole bar is just going to be filled up with old people? 
Yeah, I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha, ha, ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Rin's gonna play the piano here starting today. Huh. I didn't realize, I guess that's what the piano in the intro was for. few days ago. Uh, hurry, get up! It's coming for me! What is it? That? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot harder to explain than the dream thing. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Hello. Do you know where you are? Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? Uh, that's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? Oh, she has amnesia. Yeah. Oh my god. Is she awful at it, though? What's that? The amateur hour. Oh, don't say that. Rin's working really hard. Uh, Vincent? Oh no. What did you think of my performance? Oh, it was uh, great. Yeah, it was great. Really uh, unique. Thank you so much. I was hoping <laughs> to play a little better than that, but. Don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. I guess you're right. I'll have to keep practicing. Yeah, if the bar doesn't go out of business by then. God! <laughs> well, I'll see you later. See you. Rin's one of those sweet people that you couldn't ever tell them that well, things aren't going right for them. You know? I mean, <laughs> if she's that cute, who cares, right? <laughs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't really happen. So from what I understand, Rin is the new character, and there's a lot of dialogue that got added because she's here, and a lot of cutscenes. Like, apparently she wasn't even in the original game, so that's kind of cool. Well, it did, so give it a rest. Does that girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. But it must be hard when the only thing you remember is wanting to play piano. Hey, so are you two really neighbors now? Yeah, the uh, last guy just happened to move out. You better keep your hands off her. <laughs> oh, shut up. It's not like that. I, I'm an old man over here. <sighs> but you guys really came through for us. You know it. Having Rin work here was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even a police officer as customers. Police officer? Not to mention, public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Oh, I see. Could you imagine being a police officer? It's like, hey, uh, we need you on protective duties. It's like, sure, what do you want me to do? It's like, just drink and eat pizza and make sure this girl doesn't get kidnapped. You can drink by pressing the square button. Or get up by pressing the circle button. Okay. You can open menus with the options button. You can change the puzzle type and difficulty of the game in config. 
Oh, so you can change it off remix mode if you want. So, let's see, I can talk to anyone, I can check my phone, or I can drink. Well, let's take a drink. When you drink, you can raise your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Shit. I've never cheated in my life before. So, if I get drunk, it's basically a buff with no downside. Let's check her phone. Actually, no, let's talk to everyone, then we'll check her phone. Johnny. Ren's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. What about you, though? Are you okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bummer. Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. You got a mail. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the triangle button. You can also save images and messages. Okay. Um. Congratulations. Congratulations! You have successfully completed stage two of Prison Despair. Go to award in the cell phone menu to check for your best score. You can't retry safety stages. When you play the game on safety difficulty, your score will be saved under easy. So if I want to retry any of the stages for any reason, if I'm just like a puzzle junkie and I want to get the highest score possible, uh, that'd be how. Cool. movie. Oh, these are all the cutscenes I can see. And it tries to block recording because I guess I'm not supposed to be able to record those, but that doesn't matter. Um. Okay. Let's talk to everyone else. What's up, Orlando? Rin, right? You filed a police report, yeah? Guess we'll hear something sooner or later. Worst case, we'll just let her stick around here. Don't even think about making a move on her. Alright? Ha, you're one to talk. You got your own shit to figure out first. You seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? It's only if I don't get caught, don't say that. Don't say that supposed to do <laughs> well good luck keeping it a secret that or beg for her forgiveness this isn't something forgivable like I guess it's it's refreshing to see this because I don't know I feel like yes cheating is terrible and I'd never condone it and people who do it are total like scumbags but it's also like the game is allowing you to explore the side of a person who, like, did it, and then instantly regrets it, you know? I don't know, I find it very interesting. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. You oh? Got a mail. You keep sending me this damn mail! Are you at SS again? Are you up drinking again? I stopped by your apartment today, but you weren't there. I wanted to talk to you about something. But I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow. By the way, your place is filthy! I told you, you have to empty the trash more often. I took it out this time, but you need to be more careful, okay? That's all. Good night. Uh... I can drink if I want? Jesus. Just bad timing, I guess. Uh, what did you want to talk about? Wanna, you probably don't want to talk, I'm drunk. You want to talk now? <sighs> mm. 
Man, that'd feel like shit, sending out text messages. Let's take another drink. I don't get too intoxicated here. Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. If I took a shot every time she hit a wrong note, <laughs> that's a deal breaker for me, no matter how cute she is. Anyway, you and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> It wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. Man, his friends are giving him sh eternal shit for this. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Another text message? Yeah, Jeez. Vincent's popular. Are you getting my text? What? <laughs> Coquettish cat at Chris Krios phone? Hey Vincent, let me know if you get this and I'll send you a picture. Come on, I know you want to see it. Who is this? Uh, who is this? Can I please have your name? Why does that have anything to do with morality? That has nothing to do with morality. It's just like, hey, who is this stranger texting me? Uh, I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished the glass. Rum is made from the sugar cane grown in the Caribbean. Huh. Other popular cocktails that feature rum include the Mai Tai, the Mojito, and the... How about pairing a nice cocktail with a juicy steak? That sounds good. Honestly, That's I've never... Trivia for tonight. I never drink an alcohol because I'm very much like against it. I don't mind if other people drink, but for me personally, it's like I, I don't know. It, it's just not my thing. Exposed. Already? Hey, can I get a drink? Understood. Here you go. Uh, uh, Rin, I didn't order wine. It looks really expensive. Full-bodied stuff. I know this is subtle, but here is some trivia about wine for those who are enjoying Catherine. Full body. Huh. I knew full body reference like a wine glass, but I didn't, or like a type of wine. Unlike white wine, red wine isn't categorized as sweet or dry. To express the richness of a red wine, it is described by likening it to the shape of a woman's body. Light, medium, and full. Hmm. I wonder what a full body looks like. And that was the trivia for tonight. Please enjoy a variety of alcoholic drinks and learn more trivia facts. Rin, that wine is for another customer. Oh? Sorry, I made a mistake. Oh, don't worry about it. But please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to order. She's so sweet. What would you like to order? Do I get to choose? Oh wow, I can choose whatever I want. Um... I'll just take a beer. I need a beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay. Thank you for waiting. I don't know if I'm supposed to just get completely hammered to make Vincent go fast. Let's talk for a little bit before we get back into that. Oh, I can talk to the old ladies. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. Uh huh. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legends? Huh? 
It's Catherine. What's up? Well, hello. It's me. What is it, Catherine? Well... Catherine? It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. Face to face? Well, you two are interesting to talk to. Thanks for the conversation. I wonder if Mr. Morgan will like that piano. I wonder if that piano will bless Mr. Morgan. I'm sure you two are the descendants of Satan. Satan, but I'm not going to say anything. I like the way Vincent walks. Like, it's like, uh, I don't know. Hey, Erica. I wonder who the stalker was. Rin doesn't seem worried, but you can never be too careful. Oh shit, it's the fan. You'll protect her, right? It's your problem, too? Seriously. Anyway, you a cheater? Who would have thought? Don't you care about Catherine? Um, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Guess I'll die, real. then. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? Just don't be a bad influence, okay? Rin's no child, but still, I've never seen someone so innocent. I feel like I need to step up and be Mama Erica. You're not filling me with confidence here. So what's up, Ren? Mm, thanks for everything, Vincent. I'll get to see everyone here each night. And I'm really excited to play the piano at a place with such an adorable name like the Stray Sheep. Uh, don't thank me, thank Erica. Oh, no, wait, actually, it was Boss who hired you. Um, so I heard that you're getting married? Well, I don't know about that. We have been together quite a while, though. I see. Oh, and to anyone asking me if I can, like, up the volume of the dialogue, uh, the game doesn't actually have any audio settings, which is kind of baffling, but that's just how it is. Hey, Rin. Do you have any idea who was chasing you? No, not really. It was all so sudden. But everything's calmed down now, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess. Well, we're all here for you, so let us know if you need anything. I love how she was getting attacked by a Titan from Attack on Titan, and she's like, Well, I haven't seen him in a few days, so it's probably okay. <laughs> Wait. Are these guys the sheep from the dream? He has the same hairstyle and the same coat. I think they are. Does that mean they both cheated, or they're both just having relationship problems? Because this started before we even, like, did the whole cheating thing. Do flirts dream of sheep man? I don't know. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like ivy, always climbing. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Oh, really? Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up. Try to cheer them up if I can, okay? Go home at any time from the door in the front. This is a very interesting LP. Employing a pianist, huh? I guess this bar's ranked up. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only is that fucking Lelouch? I hear Lelouch's Don't voice on that dude. Be like Ivy, always climbing. And let me introduce you. And this is Todd, and this is Archie. Todd and Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. Suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Maybe. Think of it. But I, 
I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cockadoodlery out of you. <laughs> oh, uh. Wow, you're sharp. Oh, more? This is a very interesting LP, because it's like the first LP I've ever done where I'm doing dialogue and it's not about a murder mystery, you know? I'm just living. The passage of time. Time passes when you sit down in the bar. Uh, okay, that's literally what they just told us. About tomorrow. Can we do lunch tomorrow? You don't seem to- you don't need to answer right now. Just meet me at the cafe. I'll be there, so please come. Uh... Uh, I will if I can. See, see you tomorrow, then. I don't think I necessarily agree with some of these text messages, like... ...doing that, you know? No new leads today, either. No new leads. No new leads today either. Maybe he's like an investigator. He's wearing like a combat vest almost. Hold on, if I sit, can I talk to the boss? Oh, I can watch the TV too. That pianist seems to have a rather unique style. <laughs> yeah. Well, I welcome the change of pace. This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Maybe. Actually, if I recall, there was a sheep in the dream that had a vest like him, if I think. Maybe. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in 100-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Wow. Every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Mm, to live forever? Not too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past. Or make someone kill me. Oh, uh... <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. Hmm... All right, boss. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this too? Whatever. He has Still, a creepy really smile. Me, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gaze. Regardless, let's both try to avoid any curses, <laughs> shall we? I think that's for the best, too. You got a mail. Oh my god, people never stop mailing me. Yay! Thanks for writing back. Be sure to save my address, Kay. I'm going to the bar again tonight, so stick around until I get- Oh no, it's the other one. Even if it gets late, here's the reward, I promise. Don't show it to anyone else. What reward? Shit, I can't look at this in public! <laughs> need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Supposed to go in the bathroom? I didn't see what that was. This is creepy to do, but, you know, I guess we're doing it. Wash your face. I also need to reply to the message, too. Okay. Hey, there's a Persona 5 poster! 
Are look. you going to look away again? <laughs> I'll be waiting at the torture chamber. I wonder what kind of punishment will be waiting for you. Huh? I guess this guy's like the de- I, Now I think about it, there is like several bathroom demons. But yeah, there's a Persona poster right there. I just noticed the wanted one with Morgana on it and Joker. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> she just wrote Dear Vincent on her chest in like ketchup. Sexy, I guess. Uh, uh, okay, I'll save it. Uh, don't send me this kind of stuff. Whoa, nice. Don't send me this kind of stuff. What if someone sees that? Uh, I'm tired by. It's a polite way to send off. What are those posters for? Cosmic Traveler's down payment? And then there's Dead Land. Uh, there's an arcade game we can play over here. If I remember, I think this arcade game's like a, like a challenge stages that you can do. I can also change the music in the jukebox. To change the background music in the bar, the selections of songs will increase as you progress through the story. Try them out. Interesting, I can select any song. Oh, I can also select Persona 4 songs. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sad they don't have a... Uh... You know we'll, we'll change it up here. Let's do this for now. Don't copyright strike me, Atlas, I swear to God. You put the song in the game, it wasn't me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, I really enjoyed this. Talking to these people is really fun. I can't wait to enter the bar and do it again. Situation Vincent's got himself in is really bad, and I think the only way he can solve it is by dancing to the Persona 5 soundtrack. So we'll see you next episode when he's done dancing. If you like the video, please leave a like, and I'll be reading your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Right now. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs>